Meanwhile, on a distant hillside, shepherds sat there tending sheep. Amos, Seth, apprentice Colin, round the campfire, half asleep. All at once they heard some singing, saw a brilliant shining light. Gabriel arrived in glory. What a terrifying sight! What the flipping heck is happening? Seth Colin, wake up now! Aliens are thick, or Martians. Don't look at them! Hit the ground! Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. It's the halo, I suppose. But I've got some information. Now, excuse me while I strike a pose. Do not fear, I bring glad tidings. News of joy for all the earth. News about a special baby. News about a new king's birth. Get up off the floor there, Remorse. There's no need to hide your face. Martians, it's a blooming angel, not some dude from outer space. Look, there's loads there now, singing glory. Glory be to God on high. Peace on earth to everybody. Angels fill the sky. Hurry now to David City, Bethlehem, and you will see, wrapped in cloth and in a manger, Lord of all eternity. Well, get a move on that. Don't just stand there gawping. So the shepherds left the hillside and, just off the city square, found the house with Mary and Joseph and the baby lying there. Ain't he lovely? Who'd have thought it? Me, old Amos, kneeling here, right before the Lord of Glory. Oh, it makes my knees go kind of queer. Feel I should have brought a present, but couldn't think of what to bring. What can shepherds give a baby? Lord of lords and king of kings. I brought wool for him to lie on, comfier than the straw and hay. It smells a bit of sheep, but this is from the heart. Is that okay? So the shepherds knelt and worshipped, feet on earth and eyes on heaven. Jesus slept and snuggled softly on the will that they had given. Sure, it had no fancy wrapping, ribbons, none, nor sparkly bow, but the gift they gave to Jesus came with love instead of show. So as Colin, Seth and Amos went back to their dozing sheep, Jesus somehow went there with them, giving presents they could keep. Hi there, my name is Tom and I'm the minister at Odeby Baptist Church, the church you're standing in front of right now. Have you ever wondered what it must have been like to be a shepherd all those years ago around the time of Jesus's birth? The shepherds in the nativity story clearly spent a lot of time on dark and lonely hillsides, places that would have been pretty cold at night, not to mention full of dangers and worries. It's no surprise that the first reaction of the shepherds then is fear. I think I'd have been afraid if an angel appeared before me like that, especially on that dark and lonely hillside. But did you notice how that fear was quickly turned upside down? The angel proclaimed news of great joy for all people. A baby had been born that very night who had been sent from God as the saviour of the whole world. Their fear soon turned to hope, and it was in hope that they ran down the hillside towards the place where Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, lay asleep in the manger. In the first verse of a well-known Christmas carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem, we sing this. Yet in the dark street shineth the everlasting light, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. I think this is one of the most amazing truths of the Christmas story. God not only sent his son, Jesus, to bring hope to the people who once lived in darkness, but he also came to be the Prince of Peace, a peace that has the power to calm 
all fears. I wonder what hopes and fears you have this Christmas time. I want to encourage you before you leave our scene here at OBC to take a moment to just reflect on that question. In fact, why not take a minute to write those hopes and fears down and attach them to our Christmas tree? Instructions for how to do that are on the posters in the windows. My prayer for you and for all in our community this Christmas is that all our fears would be met in Jesus. And that in him you may find hope in what has been a difficult year for us all. May you truly know his everlasting light shining in our darkness today, this Christmas time and for all the years to come. God bless you. Stay safe. Have a very happy Christmas. And when you're ready, you can continue to our next station in St. Peter's Churchyard.